Ever since I was about eight years old, I was interested in Middle Eastern culture. When I was 18, I first went to Tehran and got in contact with Middle Eastern culture. Ever since then, I've uh, been working on, on music the last 20 years, Middle East music. Traditional music in Afghanistan is heard all over the country in little tea houses and people going to musicians and listening in person rather than through some form of media. Music is not written down or it's not learned uh, so much from note, it's just learned by hearing it from other people. What is Afghan music to you? Afghan music is thousands of years of a tradition build up from master to master. It's sort of like uh, the pyramids of Egypt or something. Each stone is, is a great artist who came along and added his um, ideas and his style and his uh, compositions where somebody perfects the tradition in every aspect and then dares maybe to add a teeny little bit just one thread like on a rug one or two threads to that uh, pattern and hope that Allah or God won't be angry with them for daring to put a little something of their own. to play instruments that are more traditional and more authentic, some of them that don't even exist much in Afghanistan, like the Santor, this one here with the strings and the sticks, uh, is not played at all hardly in Afghanistan. Maybe one or two people still play it, but it used to be quite well known. I understand that the students that were here tonight had never played Afghan music before the beginning of the quarter? Right. Uh, they might have fooled around, one of them fooled around a little bit with a guitar and the other messed around with piano. We never really teach music, we just rehearse and people join us. And we try to make it comfortable and easy for them to learn. So they just come to class, we sit around and joke a little bit and play some music, and we just keep playing music and playing until after 20 sessions they play almost like experts.
Afghanistan. Thank you.